This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 70 years of expertise built into every tool. And by UEI Test Instruments. Essential instruments, outstanding service. What's up guys? Well, as you can see, putting some cleaner in the old coil gun. So, y'all know what that means. It's that time of year, gentlemen. Yeah, buddy. I love, as much as I love this brush, this takes a while. I need to get a big brush with a handle. I ain't gonna make y'all watch me do all four sides. All right, I got the heavy stuff off with the brush. Start applying the cleaner. Now guys, I don't back flush because anytime I back flush, I always have to end up rinsing the front anyway. So these are very thin coils. It'll push right through. A lot of people home here, every time I do one of these videos, they comment. See, I did it wrong. I didn't. If you don't like it, oh well. All right, she's soaking in cleaner. Now guys, you got this coil gun. You don't wanna leave cleaner in it. And you know, a lot of guys don't like these coil guns. I love it, I'll never use a pump up sprayer again. It's just, to me, it's idiotic. But I've had people say, hey John, how's your coil, clean how's your coil gun last so long? Mine's broken already. First thing I always ask is, do you leave cleaner in it when you're moving around or whatever? Oh yeah, there's your, that's your mistake right there. I'm done. So I'm gonna fill this up. And dump it out. Now normally, when I have two hands, I just hold it upside down and squirt it. But you gotta clean your jug. And you gotta clean that. Or it's gonna break. See the shit coming out? It works just fine when you clean them. It works just fine when you clean them like this.
All right, guys, I'll make this quick. I tend to drag the, this out uh, when I do these face talking parts and I don't want to. So anyway, I'm just sitting in the truck, catching my breath and cooling off and getting ready to make the invoice out. The unit is back up and running. It's cooling, refrigerant pressures are good. Just, uh, they said it couldn't keep up in the hot of the day and you saw why. Um, you know, when a condenser coil is restricted like that, it cannot breathe and it will uh, build, up head, build up the head pressure and decrease cooling capacity, pop capacitors, kill fan motors, kill compressors. The unit is clean, as you saw. It, like I said, it's back up and running. Refrigerant pressures are good. Now, real quick, I want to touch on this because every time I do a coil cleaning video, the reason I do so many coil cleaning videos like this is because they're popular and it's, a, it's, it's one of the top requested videos I get through my email. Uh, is to, and I know I, you know, you say, well, you've already got them. I know, but some people don't watch the older videos. They, they started watching at a certain point and they don't go backwards. They only go forward. The back flushing thing. Look, I'm not saying if you back flush that you're, that you're wrong because you're not. But I will say that if you say, if you don't, if you don't do it that way, you're wrong, then you are wrong about that. If that makes any sense, the way I clean that coil will work just fine there will be no issue i've done back flushing i mean it yeah i mean it works but i always still have to spray the front anyway you know and people say oh all you're doing is pushing uh pushing it further into the coil no you're not it's the same thing okay if you're back flushing it out of the coil if you're pushing it from the front it's still coming out the coil just like when you back flush and I have to time, and then I brushed all the heavy stuff off. So when you put that coal cleaner out of there, it boils it out of there. And then when you rinse it, it all falls on the ground. So, you know, just look, I'm not trying to start an argument with anybody. You have your way, I have my way. There's a lot of people that do it like this. There's a lot of people that back flush and, and, and believe that that's the only correct way and will tell you you're wrong if you do it any other way. I don't, back flushing's not wrong but you still have to rinse the front because back flushing is not gonna is not going to take that heavy stuff off so you know you do it your way but both ways work back flushing and this way does work so i just wanted to make that clear so you know i get a lot of comments on these videos you know so if you come in here you know please you know let me know what you think guys again if i don't reply to your comment that does not mean that i'm not reading it okay but you know Hopefully that'll lessen the, if you don't back flush, you're doing it wrong comments. But you know, if that's the way you feel, then I, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're free to say whatever you want. Okay. Thank y'all for watching and we'll see y'all on the next one.